afternoon. I've been asked to, to tell you all of the experience I had in getting involved in stem cells. I'm not involved in medicine. I'm not involved in the Institute. I'm just a separate businessman that happened to end up down there. They wanted me to tell you how it occurred. And I'm 70s, late 70s in that zone. And a couple of years ago, uh, I've had arthritis continually for about the last 10 years. And I've been taking glucosamine chondroitin and milking it along, and, and I finally ran out of steam where I was stooped over, my knees weren't working, I was slipping around and obviously in pain. And my right hand was totally gone. I have to shake hands with my left hand. I put my right hand behind my back because I couldn't allow anybody to touch this hand. And uh, my lifestyle was, was I, I could see I was going to be on a walker in about a year. I went down and had x-rays done by some very well-known doctors. Uh, and they x-rayed my legs and my hips. and. They told me I had absolutely no option. I had to have both knees replaced. There was nothing left down there. And I'd probably have to have my hips done in about a year to a year and a half. And I had them x-ray my right hand. They said, uh, there's nothing that can be done for your hand. It's just gone. You don't have any more. So I, w I w was without a, without a right hand. So I come home and uh, I'm talking to my girlfriend. I'm not real happy about this. I had a back operation about 20 years ago and took me nine or 10 months to recover. My memory bank was not where I wanted to go there again. But my girlfriend had been married to a veterinarian for 25 years. And she said, what are you talking about? We've been fixing arthritis in dogs for years and years and years. There's an owner brings in a dog that can't move. He's all moaning and groaning and like a limp puddle in his arms. We take that dog and we suck some fat out of it and send it to to a clinic in California. They spin the stem cells out and freeze them, send them back. We put them back in the dog. In three or four weeks, that dog is up jumping and running and happy, and the owner's happy. And I said, what? We can fix dogs, but we can't fix humans? Well, this didn't ring the right bell. Veterinary medicine is a proving ground for medicines in this country. And we are a great country. We got the most freedom of speech. We have freedom of opinion, freedom of expression, freedom of movement. This didn't ring a bell. So I go to the internet and I find stem cell clinics outside the United States that specifically treat arthritis. I find them in Europe, I find them in Asia, Mexico, Central America. So I started calling them and uh, I got some real good answers. I got some measly answers. In Mexico, they didn't want any, you know, you just go to Mexico, they give them $10,000, they'll treat you, but the reputation wasn't that good. I called Panama, and they were professional. They asked good questions. They wanted to know my health, my age, everything, to see whether I was a candidate. So we decided we'd go to Panama and see what they had to offer. And they told me a big, probably could help me, but it'd take three to six months to see the results. Okay, let's get it on, so we got it on. And they did the liposuction, and they did the re-injections, and it's like going to the blood bank down at the corner, and they never were hospitalized, no surgery, no drugs. And we stayed in Panama, we were gonna be down there a week, and in seven days, all my arthritis pain was gone in seven days. Seven days. I was facing major surgery, major recovery. They said it was unusual for it to come about that quick, but in seven days, I was cured. I was taking 17 pills a day before I went to Panama, and now I take zero. I got my hand back, my legs back, got my life back. Thank you all.